all right good day guys today i'm going to teach you guys how to predict and then detect flood in a district anyway after this tutorial you can choose to select any district of your choice and then also practice all right so first of all the first thing we have to do is to get our data and as you can see i have my data here in my doc my documents which is GIS 482 data the level 300 have it like GIS I think 38 or 39 something I'm not sure of that all right so after that I can close it and then you open your ArcMap software all right so I'm now going to add my data as you can see I can't find my GIS uh, <coughs> data folder here. <coughs> so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to folder. That is, I'm going to now <coughs> I'm going to now look for the GIS data, which I think is in documents. Alright, so this is it here. You click on it and click OK. Alright, so I have my, my data here. So I'm going to add district elevation. Alright, I might add road and then river and town later. But then I just want us to concentrate on just these two for the meantime. You can add them later. Alright. <coughs> so let me uncheck this and see. Because as you can see, I have my elevation tip here. I have my district 138 district layer here. <coughs> Alright, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my district map. So I'm going to right click on this. And then open attribute table. Alright, so I'll scroll here and then look for the district I want to create. All right, let me see. All right. Uh, no. Anyway, as you can see, these are the district. And if you want to create a district, you just have to highlight on it. And then to come. But I'm not interested in any of this district. Hmm. All right, then I'm going to use offensive, offensive municipal. All right. So after clicking on it, I'll come back to my table of content. Right click on district layer, go to selection, and then create layer from selected feature. As you can see, immediately I created layer from selected feature. It has now created a new layer here named district selection. All right, so I will check this. As you can see, my map has come make this so go back to full extent all right so as you can see i have my central east district here so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this district layer so that it won't confuse me later so i want to be keeping all my data in a folder so that next time if i want to work on it i'll just go to the folder and then i don't need to pass through these processes anymore so i'll just right click on this and then go to data All right, so I want to now create a new folder and then name it Central East District Flood Floodable Zone. All right, so as you can see, you can click on new data, new folder here. All right, so I'm going to name it Flood. Double click inside. Oh, okay. I will click inside the district all right so the name should be district and then you should check on save file and then save yes all right so now i have my district here i can now remove this all right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm now going to clip the elevation for this district 
anyway there are two ways you can do that is either you click on the search toolbox which is here and then search for your tool clip right. and then you click on clip which is data management to that the third one here you see that you do that or or you can choose to mm, or you can choose to open your act toolbox and then go to data management tools raster and then as you can see the clip that we saw down uh, there is the same thing right here double click on it all right so over here your input raster will be the elevation tip and then output testing will be my district all right have you seen this small box here you should make sure you have checked on it All right, so I would want to now go and save my elevation into my Central East District uh, uh, folder. Anyway, you can choose to leave it this way, but then I would advise you go and then put it inside the folder. So I'll now go up to search for my folder. Yeah, as you can see, I have Central East flood here. I'll double click on it and then I'll just type in elevation all right let me save it okay so let's wait before finish clipping it i think it's taking a while but let's wait for a little bit all right so as you can see we have my elevation here as you can see there is a difference between these two elevation this elevation tip and then this is the new elevation that i clip for this district <coughs> all right so the next thing i'm going to do is either you uncheck this or you remove it i would advise you remove elevation tip because it might confuse you later as we go on or as we move on so you right click and then remove it <clears throat> some of you might be wondering why you can't see the elevation it because you always have to bring drag this district down and some of you have you seen that you can't drag it it because you have not selected list by drawing order so you should make sure it's here all right all right so as you can see i have my district here so the next process or the next step in detecting and predicting the flood floodable areas in the district you now have to go to arc toolbox as i have it down here you scroll down there and then you find spatial analysis tool double click on it and then as you can see reclass double click on reclass and then reclassify so now we have our input raster as our elevation and then we have the values so we have old values and then new values all right so let me take anyway the map i'm going to create is i just want to find out areas that are most floodable and then areas that are less floodable all right so i'll select one and then maybe the elevation between 193 to 243 as most floodable and then 243 to 268 to as most floodable and then 268 to 290 as less floodable so i'll just input two so you just name the remaining no data like this 